Heroes tournament time and I got my bull shined. I gotta go, 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 go. Get exposed, exposed, exposed. Get the boat, man, it's time to go. Grab your baits and fishing poles. Fill the tank and then hit the road. See you in that fishing hole. Made up my mind, I'm no weekend warrior. I'm a pro. Fishing, fishing, no. And when I'm fishing, man, my goal is to win. I won't stop until I'm in that circle with legends like Rick Clunner, Kevin Van Dam. I got that ski grease. I got that carrot stick. Man, if y'all see me on the lake, better make way and pray my motor quits. Cause I won't know. School teacher from wherever is that right? Brad yeah. Hodges. Um, quite a brim champion, actually, or very successful brim angler from Victoria. Uh, you've done well in Lawrence Blue Rock Blitz, uh, coming second. Yeah. I had the leave for a, a little bit. Uh, did you enjoy yourself this weekend? Yeah, had, had a really good time. Um, I suppose going back to, to Friday, I uh, had a, had a pre-fish and I, I only got on the water at 11 o'clock and I didn't even see a bass all day. Um, so to come out Saturday and Sunday and actually find a couple of fish and end up putting a bag together each day um, was yeah really, really surprising and pleasing, I suppose. So. You've you done much bassing before. Have you been to this lake before? I've spent two days um, just pedalling a kayak around in here, which I didn't really enjoy. Um, I caught one legal bass in, during those two days, so I didn't uh, really learn too many uh, tactics or anything like that. Um, I didn't use any of the stuff that I learned on, on the kayak. I just reverted to, um, to broom techniques, which uh, Moddy's not too happy about, but um, he reckons I'll learn something when I go up north. So. Yeah, OK. We'll, um, we'll talk about your technique and, and specifically your gear, uh, your, your fishing edges. Yeah, it was. Um, just casting a little hard body towards the end. It's just a, a 3B puppy dog. It's about a 48 mil lure. Um, dives to about one and a half metres. Um, and I, I found a, a, it was a yellow sort of translucent colour. The colour's called pointer. Um, and that's when, when I chose the bass minnow later on, I, I, I found a like a translucent yellow sort of colour that had been mixed in with um, some pearl watermelon, so the, the colour has bleached a little bit. Um, and yeah, the, the yellow just seemed to work for me. Um, yeah, you asked 10 different guys, 10 different colours were working, but the, the yellow was a standout for me. So, so you cast them tied to the edge. Uh, you're working it down, you said it dies about 1.5 metres. Were they hitting it within that first half metre at the bottom, or was it just a slow roll? Yeah, no, I, I pretty much all my hookups were within the first metre of, of, of the cast. Um, even I got a couple on surface lures, and that was um, as soon as the lure lands, work at about a metre stop, and if you didn't get a rise, just give it up. So it was pretty much the same as um, with the hard bodies, cast it in as tight to the edge as it could, work it down the first metre, it'd probably get to about a metre in depth, a metre out from the bank. If it didn't get a hit, it was pretty much over. Um, I'd still slow roll it back to the bank because that's what you're supposed to do for uh, back to the boat, sorry. So that's what you're supposed to do for bass, but I, I didn't pick up anything. Yeah. So people at home um, generally just go get a 3B and, and cast it as tight to the edge as possible? Yeah, that, if you're going to do that, you're going to catch fish. Um, you know, you'll, you'll catch plenty of undersized bass, you'll catch some redfin and, and you'll get the, the better bass as well. So uh, you don't have to throw your, your traditional bass baits in here at the moment because the fish are quite small. Um, hopefully in a few years time when, when they grow up a bit they'll, they'll really smash those bigger lures. So. Okay, so let's talk about your rod, your line and, and your reel if that's okay. Um, yeah. what, what sort of outfit were you using to throw those around? Yeah, I was using a um, Abu Garcia Vanguard rod. Um, I think it's three to, three to four kilo. Um, matched to that I had a a Revo um, Abu, again, uh, 2000 size reel. And I just had um, six pound nano fill, and that was attached to eight pound trilene leader. Um, a little bit heavier than I normally normally run. Um, leader length was about a rod and a half, um, and it, it seemed to work really well. I didn't lose any fish uh, because of the line class. I, I, was, I busted one off because of a poor knot, but um, that was about it. So. Okay, you got anyone else you'd like to thank for the weekend? Um, yeah, obviously Berkeley um, and, and my wife, um, she's put in a big effort at home. Um, she hurt her knee pretty badly uh, last week, been on crutches and been unable to walk until Thursday. Uh, so she's got two kids under the, under the age of four to look under after. So um, yeah, really big thanks to Jade. Uh, obviously wouldn't be able to, to come away without her putting a big effort in at home. So. Well done, Hodgie. We're excited nice. to have you in the, the series. We're excited to have you in the Mega Bass Championship. And it's going to be really interesting in the next few years, uh, this yep. year and the next few years to see how it develops. Yeah, I'm really looking forward to the, to the grand final. Um, love, to, love to come up in September and uh, have a bit of a fish um, and just see what it's all about. And, and you know, I, I can really see the Bass Nation um, you know, growing and, and becoming, uh, I suppose, the, the premier bass competition in, in Australia, which you know, is going to be fantastic. So well done. Thanks, Hodgie. Well done. Thank you for supporting us. Cheers. 
Okay, we're here at uh, Lake Blue Rock at the Lawrence Blue Rock Blitz with Warren Carter. Warren's uh, got to head off early. He's um, got some family issues at home. He, he let us know about that last night. How you going, Warren? Yeah, really good, mate. Uh, it was just good to fish a couple of minutes today and come back in and have a couple of fish to weigh. Well, you have weighed in a pretty good bag, the second biggest bag of the event so far at 990 grams. Uh, you went up for 45 minutes and then only fished for a few minutes and then came back, didn't you? Yeah, that, that, that's correct, Drew. Um, probably fished all of 20 minutes, just basically chucking chubbies right hard up against the edge and uh, just fished the shade first up this morning. What sort of gear were you using today? Uh, just basically fishing six-pound litre and um, just seven-foot rods and uh, 2,500 reels. So pretty similar to the sort of brim fishing that you used to. It's quite accurate casting up there. There's a lot of, lot of structure and a lot of stuff to aim for, isn't it? Yeah, um, your cast had to be really tight. You really had to have it right back in the corners and um, just get it down amongst the laydowns. And when you did that, you actually got the fish. So what do you think of the lake? We hear of 45s getting around here. We hear of, uh, you know, some massive fish in here, but we haven't seen it so far this weekend. What do you think of the lake? Look, I think it's got great uh, potential. Um, there's a lot of timber. And uh, if, they, if fisheries continue to stock it, it's going to be a great bass fishery for Victoria. Okay, so you've got to take off early. You're currently taking the lead uh, by 300 grams off Dave. Um, we'll just say thank you. Hopefully you, you win. We'll, uh, we'll see what happens this afternoon. We appreciate you coming down. Uh, and we, we're looking forward to coming back into the future as well. Yeah, and absolutely. And I'd like to encourage all the Victorians to sort of come on board next year. So, and even the guys from New South Wales, it'll be fantastic for them to come back too, you know. Thanks, Warren. Well done, mate. Good on you. We're with the, uh, the guy that travelled the most, apart from us. Oh, no, actually, you come a bit further than yeah, us. Yeah, I did, actually, yeah. Uh, the Lan Lawrence Blue Rock Blitz. Did you have a good time? Mate, I had an absolute ball. It's a, um, something I wouldn't mind doing again, actually. The dam surprised me. I, didn't, I wasn't expecting the amount of fish, like they're undersized, but the amount of fish that are in there. And uh, the guys that we got to meet down here, the, everything about it. Uh, I'm glad that I got the phone call on uh, Wednesday and I come down. I've had an absolute crack of time. You want to come back and beat them, don't you? I do now. <laughs> I sort of wish I didn't come down because now I want to beat them. I want to <laughs> beat these Brim guys. They're toweling us up in their own stuff. It was a bit, it did suit them this weekend. Look, let's be let's be honest. It was the small lures and, and, and smaller presentations to the banks, which is what some of them guys and what they do in their casting is, is pretty impressive. But um, we'll get them for sure. Absolutely. Um, that's what we're using. I know you end up six, so it's, it's nothing to, you know, for, it's not a fire for anyone. People are normally really happy with six. Oh, look, mate, at the end of the day, when I came down, you know, I used Duffy's rods, I borrowed a boat, and didn't know what the sounders were going to do. I've got two tackle trays of stuff, you know, really, so we couldn't swap and change, which was good, really. I just used a um, TN50 in a HL Black and a uh, TN60 in. Um, Brown dog, didn't really know what else to do, so I just kept throwing them. Uh, had me chances today. I knew when I got busted off them couple of fish that I got smoked on today, that that would have uh, put me up there. I knew it was going to be a, you had to hit them early, and then the, where I was fishing, hit them early, and then they'd shut down. That's exactly what happened. But I would love to get me four out of four and fill the bag, but three on a dam that I've never, like four days ago, didn't even know existed, so I've got to be pretty happy with them. So you said you got busted off. There's some good fish in here, isn't there? Yeah, yeah. Oh, I really didn't get... Oh, yeah, on the pre-fish, I got busted off. I didn't get busted off today. It was a good fish. But it was actually probably the best fish that I'd hooked all week. It pulled drag on it. Um, I had to drag pretty well locked up because we were fishing in the timber. Went to get it around the, a tree, and with the TN50s, them hooks are a little bit small. He probably just... They were sort of swiping at him a bit today, too. So I had him on. We sort of went to electric over to him, went to pull it out, and he's just pulled the hooks. That's just the way it goes, man. Well, we really appreciate you coming all the way. Um, you know, the sport you give us is amazing. And um, will we see you the other rounds this year? Oh, mate, we're going to do. We're going to try and do as many as we can. We're talking about doing a bit of a bus trip and going down as a non-boater to do the Hawkesbury. But the rest of them, they're our dams. It's going to be great. It's going to be good to see some of these guys, Hodgie and them guys, coming up and, and seeing what bass fishing is really about with some of these crackers. <laughs> I think they'll get a bit of an eye opener. Some of their leaders will get stretched, though. But um, that's what it's about. I'm really stoked to be a part of the first one in Victoria and, and one of many, many for many years. So, once again, and thanks for Bass Nation, thanks for Lauren and yourself. You know, without you, this wouldn't be possible. I'd be home mowing the lawn. So, Mrs., if you're home mowing the lawn, keep going. <laughs> Good on you, Marty. Mate, thanks. thanks a lot. Gives it on. Thank you, Check us out at bassaustralia.com.au.